Carol Inverno. I live in Seattle. I'm a painter and in residency for a month at the Vermont Studio Center. I learn a lot more from the ones that I mess up than, um, than the ones that actually work out fine because it really tells me, most of it is like if I'm not intuitive while I'm doing it, um, the, the work just dissolves and gets really, it doesn't work. You know, I don't see an evolution, it's just static, it doesn't, you know, my work as a, in terms of colors or in terms of, comp you know, even composition, but it just doesn't work in terms of content. Because I can't just make shapes just to make shapes, it has to have some resonance in my head. And every time I, if I think about something, that one thing has a specific shape in my head, so I try to go with that. You know, like, you know, I don't, if I think about apple, I don't unless you know, of course the obvious one is what they teach is a red apple with the little the word apple, but the resonance of the word apple brings a specific shape in my head. That's not the shape of the apple. Kind of my father's obsession was to take us to all these military cemeteries, which was just so, you know, obnoxious and but in Casino the area, one of the areas I lived a number of years when I was a kid, they had five military um, cemeteries that surrounded this abbey that had been destroyed and we would go to these cemeteries, there was like five cemeteries, I think it was like 30 some thousand crosses, right, just all lined up and, and so it started out with that but I think it's evolving into something else so um, I'll have to see where it leads, you know, I mean there's a practical side to making art that has to do with showing up every day for it um, and if you're not interrupted I think it starts creating its own loop that you can just feed off of and not you know anything that interrupts your cycle of thinking around or intuitive thinking around art I think it, it takes always a certain time to get back into it whether in minutes or hours or days whereas here if you're in it all the time you're not thinking about there's nothing you can do about paying your bills. If whatever you've done, you've done, and whatever, you know. You, so there's a, or whatever you've left behind, your job, whatever it is, you don't, um, you don't have that need of, of trying to recapture that moment you left. You can simply leave the studio, go to sleep, whatever you're going to do, have a conversation, and then come back. So you never really leave that, that sense of, of being... Um, your identity being an artist and, and you know, you, you're able to nurture it and, and, and also go through the failures much faster and through successes much faster so that you just kind of, it's there all the time and you cannot do that, I think, um, unless you're an environment like this. So that's why I keep going back, coming back because it just, I, I'm, I'm able to chip away chunks of things that I need to learn or experience much faster. And, and at a deeper level.